I'm out for the count. Oh, this is what happens when you're out of shape. What is up? Back at it with a little bit of an education video for you. So we're gonna drop some science and we're actually gonna get out there and put this science into practice. So today, I know I've done a video like this before, but this is gonna be a little bit different. We're talking about energy systems. So we're talking about cardio. Because one thing that I think Jake and I have a hard time with is people that think the best way to get in shape is just to come in, walk on a treadmill, do their elliptical day after day, 40 minutes a day, when they're not getting the results they want. So how do you you get the results you want to get bigger faster stronger leaner how do you get these things at first you need to understand energy systems of the body so up here we have energy systems the first is the phosphagen system so phosphagen system think short term this is stuff that's under 10 seconds the reason why we take creatine phosphate is for this system right here ATP adenosine triphosphate turns into adenosine diphosphate as you're working out so this way when you take creatine you're saturating the muscle saturating your body with that and it donates into the phosphagen group. So just think this is short spurts, intense lifting under 10 seconds. Um, the next energy system we have is the aerobic system. The aerobic system, runners, long distance runners, think your cardio, your extended cardio people. So aerobic means with oxygen, because that's how the, that's how the system works. It uses oxygen to deliver to the muscles, to those body parts that are working. Now this increases blood flow. There's a lot of good things about LIS cardio. That's what this is right here. It's LIS cardio. It's not as taxing on your central nervous system, but what happens is to keep up with your body's quick adapt adaptation process, I guess you call it, your, your body's gonna adapt quickly to the stimulus you're throwing at it because you've all done, you should also incorporate this. This is HIT. This is high intensity interval training. And this is an anaerobic system, so that means without oxygen, without O2. So your body's actually using glycogen. Glycogen is like NOS for our bodies. Glycogen is carbohydrate. So if you're an athlete, if you're an athlete, this is why athletes shouldn't do keto diets in my opinion, because you need those carbs. You need that NOS to perform. So if you wanna perform better, if you wanna be stronger, if you wanna be faster, if you wanna be leaner, this is where you wanna play for your cardio. And again, this is gonna be 10 seconds to two minutes. So this is quick. This is get in, get out, boom. This is that, you know, that quarter mile, 10 seconds in a car type of a thing. You're using your big primary mover muscles. So your quads, your glutes, your, you know, if you're swimming, your shoulders, your back, and it is a all out run and gun. Like you think of something you can do for 10 seconds to two minutes and go all out. One good way to see if you're performing hit properly is the talk test. If you can talk while you're doing your hit, it's not, you're not going hard enough. But one other thing I want to just note on this video, the minute your form breaks down during your hit, you should stop because that's when our movement pattern, if we're going so hard, you're flailing all over the place, you're at risk of getting injured. We don't want to ever put ourselves at risk of getting injured. So if that movement pattern's off, if your form is crap, don't care you know, how hard you're going, you need to stop. And then again, one to two times per week, if you're just starting out with implementing hit stuff into your workouts, this one time's gonna be more than enough. And then go back to some of your lift stuff on those other days. As you ramp it up, two, maybe even three, if you're a high level athlete, you're talking Olympic sprinter type, 